Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to discuss one more advanced topic in web development. In this tutorial we will discuss how can we use store procedure with Ajax and Query for insert update delete and fetch data from MySQL table and PHP script. In this tutorial we will make CRUD operation in PHP with Ajax. For making CRUD operation we will use stored procedure for making CRUD operation in PHP with Ajax. In this CRUD operation we have used Ajax with PHP so all operation will be done without page refresh. Here CRUD means create, read, update and delete of database table data. Insert, update and delete features is almost used in every website in PHP with Ajax. In this script, we will fetch user's data from database and display that user data on web page with update link and delete link. By this type of link we can update and delete data from database. This operation has been done without page refresh event. For this type of operation here we will use stored procedure. First of all what is stored procedure? Stored procedure is a collection of query. It is also called pre-compiled SQL query. Stored procedure is mainly used for enterprise level application. If you are working on any large data project then you can use stored procedure for insert update delete of data operation. So here we will store procedure from CRUD operation and PHP with Ajax. Now let's start writing coding. This is my CRUD database and in this database we have one user's table with three table column like id, first name and last name. We will use this table for CRUD operation. In this table we have already inserted some data. This is my index.php page and on this page we have used JavaScript library jQuery for use jQuery and Ajax functionality on this page and we have also used Bootstrap framework for ready-made style sheet used on this page. Now we have create simple HTML form for insert data. In this form first we have defined one text box for entering first name, so for we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name, it is equal to first name and class name is equal to form control. For entering last name we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name and it is equal to class last name and class name is equal to form control. Then after we have defined one hidden field for storing a value in this field, so for this we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to id and it is equal to user id. In this tag we will store user id for update particular user data. Lastly and we have write button type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to action, it is equal to action and class is equal to button button warning. We have write button text add. When we have click on this button then we can insert or update user data by using Ajax request. Below this form we have write one division tag with attribute it is equal to result. In this division tag we will display user's data in table format with update and delete records button. Now we have moved to jQuery code and under jQuery code first we have make one function for fetch users data from database and display that data under this division tag with it is equal to result in table format. So for this we have write function with fetch user with attribute message. Under this function we have write action variable is equal to select. We will use this variable value in PHP code. Then after we have defined Ajax request and under this request first we have write URL set to select.php. Here we have send request this page. Then after we have defined method set to post, here we have use post method for send data to the server. Then after we have defined which data we want to send to server, here we want to send action data and data option. 
Lastly in Ajax request we have write success callback function, if request sent successfully then this function will be called and this will receive data from server which is stored under data argument. After calling this function we want to clear first name and last name text box, so for this we have write first name id dot value method with blank value and last name dot value method with blank value. This code will clear both text box. After this we want to set button text to add, so for this we have write action which is an id of button with text method and under this method we have write add text. This will button text to add. And lastly we want to display user data which we have received from server under division tag with result. So we have write dollar resulted with HTML method and under this method we have write data. This will display user data under result division tag in table format. Now we have moved to write PHP code under select.php page, and on this page we have first write dollar output variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store users data in table format. After this we have make database connection, so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to crud. Then after we have write of statement with condition like set function with dollar post action variable. This condition will check if value of dollar $post variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar procedure variable. Under this variable we will create stored procedure for fetch user data from users table. For create stored procedure first we want to write create procedure with name select user. Here select user is the stored procedure name. And then after in stored procedure we have write begin and end, between this two tag we have to write query for fetch users data from users table. So between this tag we have write query like select star from users table order by id in descending order. So our stored procedure is ready for fetching users data from users table. Now we want the to call this stored procedure, so we have write of statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write query like drop procedure if exists select user. Here this condition drop select user stored procedure if it was exist on database. After this we have write if statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar procedure variable in which we have write select user stored procedure. This condition will create select user stored procedure and it will execute if block of code. If select user stored procedure created successfully then after we have write dollar query variable is equal to call select user stored procedure. We can call stored procedure by using this call statement and stored in dollar query variable. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable in which we have store select user stored procedure. This function will execute select user stored procedure and store result under dollar result variable. Now we have create one table with four table column like first name, last name, update and delete. So for this we have write dollar output variable with concatenation operator equal to table tag with one table row tag and under this tag we have defined for table data tag with text like first name, last name, update and delete.
After this we have right if statement with condition like this clean num rows function with one argument like dollar result variable greater than zero. Here this function will return number of rows from query result and check number of rows greater than zero. If number of row is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Otherwise it will execute else block of code. If number of rows is equal to zero, then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable with concatenation operator equal to table row and between table row we have write table data with attribute call span is equal to four with text like data not found. If there is no found in user table then it will display this message on web page. But suppose number of rows greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into dollar row variable and by using while loop we can fetch data one by one. In this block we have write dollar output variable with concatenation assignment operator and text like open and close table row tag and between this tag we have defined for table data tag. In first table data tag we want to print first name, so we have write dollar row first name variable and in second table data tag we want to display last name. So we have write dollar row last name variable. In third table data tag we want to display update button for update data. So we have write button type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to update. It is equal to dollar row it variable and class is equal to update. By writing this we have generate unique id for different user update data button and we will user update class in query code. In button text we have write update. This will generate update button for all users. In last table data tag we want to display delete button for all users. So we have write button tag with type is equal to button, name is equal to delete, it is equal to dollar row id variable and class is equal to delete. We have generate unique id by putting this dollar row id variable and we will use the lead class in query code. In button text we have write delete. Then after we have again write dollar output variable with concatenation assignment operator with text like close table tag. This way we have close table tag and store all users data in table format and store into this output variable. Lastly we have write dollar echo statement with dollar output variable. This will send user data to success callback function of fetch user function and this data will be display under division tag with result id. Now we want to call this function on web page load. So we have simply write fetch user function, this function will be called on web page load. So our code is ready for fetch data by using ajax request with php script and stored procedure. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see this one page has been loaded then on page we can see that text box for entering first name and last name field with one add button and below this form we can see the user's data in table format. In user's data we can see two button for update and delete data. So friends this is video on how can we fetch or select data from data by using stored procedure with PHP script as back end and Ajax with jQuery as front end. In next video we will discuss how can we insert data by stored procedure in PHP script with Ajax jQuery.